I just want y'all to see this one. So let's see here. Two handed chords and whatnot. Perfect. All right, so that's how, that's another way you can do chords, y'all. I feel like plugging notes in is just too confusing. I always recommend just chording it out. Like all you're doing with the chords is like hitting every other note. Notice how I'm not hitting any of these notes that are next to each other like this. It's always like this. This is a chord. Chord, chord. Notice the more notes you add, the more sound. And um, yeah, so that's how you can make some really like, whoa, like that's lit melodies, you know? And then what I would do with this is clone it, clone it. With clo with uh chords, I'm always trying to clone. I clone humans and I clone chords. Copy, paste, same pattern. And for goodness sake, that is so annoying. Okay. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> oh. Oh yeah. We'll try to get a different sound. See and find one that like fits it well. This would probably work actually. This ain't the same sound, is it? That's actually pretty dope. But like, honestly, the first one that sounds good, I would go with. And I would like, I would never try to overthink it more than that. I swear. And the only reason I know this for sure is because I've watched videos of me making beats and I've done that several times. Like I'll pick, I'll have a cool, cool I'll, I'll have a cool one. I'll be like, that's cool. But let me keep going. And then I keep going. I pick one that I think is also cool and it ends up being worse. So like the first one you go with, and that's happened so many times. And then from here, you can pick one of these instruments. We'll say we clone this one. This is already kind of litty, you know? You could go into gross beats with this or do something like that, but I'm gonna try to like add in another like melody on top of it using. I prefer to actually use a different sound. Yeah. Okay. I literally chose the first sound. You know, I'd probably take more time to pick a better one or like whatever, but like. I wanna show you as much detail, de melody details as possible. Okay, so that was a fail. Let's try it again. Okay, that's what we need right there. Um, delete, plus. It can be kind of hard if you like, so let's do that. Dang it. Uh, dang it, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Why, <laughs> seriously? Okay, that's so annoying. Control Z. You know, we could probably work with this actually. Cause I was pretty much gonna do the same pattern over and over again. So let's, let's just cut. Let's go to pattern three where this should, or two where it should be. I don't know what happened to two. Oh, that's right, I recorded it. All right, now let's go like this. Pew. Pew. Okay, and then one thing I'll do is like, in this phase, you gotta keep the rapper in mind. So like, get me on. Tell me I'm not seeing it down low. I'm not I'm not I'm not be like, add some variation. Yeah. 
It might actually sound worse with that. I feel like that one was cool. I feel like this was just too much. You kind of want to be consistent too. That can, that can work. I would probably tweak it a little bit. Just the overall, like, like the gap. But I want to keep going and just show you guys more stuff. Uh, I'd probably turn this down, too. I, I like to keep a nice balanced sound, too. Alright. Let's move on to the effects. First of all... Let's do the mixing. If I can cut some of that sharpness out. Uh, yeah. Stereo Enhancer is cool too. That's pretty parametric EQ2, what you guys just saw. Oh yeah, what was this? Uh, just cutting off the low and the high leaving room for the kick snare or the kick in the bass and then the hi-hats snare so leave a room for the drums essentially essentially that should be my new producer name yo <laughs> yo essentially on the track no, that doesn't sound good never mind so i sometimes mess with this a little bit Leave it how it is. Okay, one of the ones I like is the 1K reverb in Patcher. So Patcher is it's Patcher presets. Patcher is, is just like another effect that everyone has. And then I just like turn that up. This is probably like my one of my favorite effects. Then love filter and then gross beats is always in the mix. Does that sound better? Yeah, I like that. Sometimes I just like to throw in effects just to be different. Then I'm always trying this. And then like delete parts that you don't like. So sometimes I just go through these and I'll be like, which one do I like? I don't know why, I feel like that's kind of hard. The one thing I always try to is, uh, what does it sound like at half speed? I don't know what it be, but like I swear, sometimes just in half speed, beats just be sounding better. Beats be sounding better in half speed sometimes. Probably not this one though, but it's worth a try. Then uh, maybe pitch shifter too. That's kind of hard. Whoa, whoa. All right, that's, which one sounds better? I feel like this one's so different that I would go with it. But then like, Heck, at this point, I'd either move on to the drums, add a bass, turn the melody down. That's some city life stuff right there, boys. Um, give it a try, y'all. Slime Green Beats in the building, just showing y'all some cool melody tips and tricks. Peace out, word. word.